What's up guys? Welcome back to the Heavy Wrench. Thanks for tuning in today. I appreciate it as always. Um, hit that like button, comment, share, subscribe. Please do that. I appreciate it. Helps out the channel. Um, gain some stuff. Just so you know, I got some super exciting news. Um, before we get into these oil filter wrenches and uh, that I like or don't like or whatever it's going to be labeled as on the video here. But uh, just kind of getting with some coffee in me this morning. It's Again, I make these videos about five, a little before five in the morning. So <laughs> it's it's slightly early for me, probably not for you. Um, but the exciting news that I got is I'm actually starting a website. The website is started. Um, it should be live by the time you see this. Uh, it's called theheavywrench.com, and there is going to be some merchandise available on there. Um, I have uh, some some decals. If you see that or not, they're three inches by three inches. They will be for sale on the website, theheavywrench.com. I'll uh, try to post a link somewhere down below here, hopefully. Um, if not, check it out on the, on the, in the comment section below. Um, but let me know what you think. Um, might be doing some merchandise stuff just to help out the channel and uh, try, to, try to grow some more uh, financial things to help out some more people. Um, like you talked about on the live stream the other night. So check out those live streams. I... Uh, appreciate that too. So, oil filter wrenches. You know when you're, you're first starting out in heavy equipment, you're probably going to be on the help with oil changes, uh, doing some oil changes, doing some preps, different things like that. Um, I've wasted some money on some oil filter wrenches. Uh, I've also, I'm looking at them right now trying to think what I'm going to say, but anyway, I, uh, I definitely have wasted some money on oil filter wrenches and I have Proved to have some really really good wrenches also so let me grab uh, one more here and I'll be right back all right now we're back and we're talking about services and different uh, oil filter wrenches so I had to go grab them out of my cart um, forgot about the set for just I just was gonna explain them but I might as well show you um, so first of all what oil filter wrenches would I buy to begin with um, this one here is a 91f uh, made by Snap-on. It's got half inch and three eighths drive. Put it around the filter. Now with these, a lot of guys make the mistake by, see how there's that strap there and that strap there, right? They, they like to pull it all the way this way. So when they start binding it up, it will tear these two, uh, these two stitches out. Then they don't like the, the strap. But the key is to leave those somewhat centered when you go around your filter. Now, you're just pulling on your strap and binding your strap together and not actually pulling on those laces. So that will help you keep the longevity out of it for as long as you can. It takes a little bit more time to adjust it and get it on the filter, but it's worth it. So, um, Caterpillar also makes one of these. I don't know the part number, but that's a pretty sweet filter wrench. It's got a big old plate right here that, uh, that sits on the filter. And these are like, you're going to need one of these strap wrenches uh, in this way, shape, or form for heavy equipment, or even on the truck side, you know. Um, so, but heavy equipment especially, these are definitely important to have. Um, so this is like one of my go-tos uh, for engine oil and hydraulic oil filters, trans oil filters, stuff like that. Um, but when it comes down to it, these are my favorite, favorite, ultimate, first, before I grab this before I grab anything else. These Nipex, um, these are the big 22 inch, uh, I think they're called Cobras. But anyway, they're 87, 01, 560 um, Nipex. They are, these will grab an oil filter and nine times out of 10, this is what I use to get an oil filter off quickly or easily if it's got the room. Uh, this is more for tight application, but these will bite. Uh, so, the third ones that I use that all the time are my go-to for fuel filters and such are these for the most part. Uh, they slide in nicely. Um, as you can see, I have bent one. I have a bent one here. Um, it still works. It still grabs. These are the blue points. Uh, this is OFW4KT. I've had these a while. Uh, every so often you replace the ones that you use the most, but them are for fuel filters. Some are stubborn, 
and uh, you know, stuff happens. Now the ones I wouldn't buy, don't buy this set here. I don't even know what it is, but maybe I can find a number on it. I didn't even look at these before. They just sit there, they're horrible. Um, there's actually a patent on it, but these are adjustable pliers. Um, they are fit about right. They'll work after you get the filter loose, but at that point you're spinning it by hand almost anyway. Um, I have used these. The one particular time that these are nice is when the when the filter's down in low, and you have to grab the top and pull it out and hold it away from you, and it's super hot. But at the same time, these pretty much get down there too. I don't. I don't know. These, I feel like were a waste of money. Um, I bought them a long, long time ago. I don't even know who I bought them from or where I bought them from. Uh, maybe you guys can tell me in the comments below what brand they are um, because I don't see any. They're rusty, a little bit rusty, and you know what I mean? They're not very. I guess that tells you an oil filter wrench that has rust on it. How often do you use an oil filter wrench if you have it get rust on it? You know, these are not not my go-tos at all whatsoever. Uh, these are Matcos. I know that for sure. Um, OF29900. I don't. I do not like these either. Um, they seem like a cool design <clears throat> when I bought them. I thought they were going to be really helpful. Um, they look like they bite, but they just don't have the grip. You can't on the tough filters. If they were easy filters, yeah, but they're adjustable pliers. They're similar in length to the uh, to the Nipex. Similar, I should say, but definitely shorter. Um, my actual go-to before I bought the Nipex was a pair of... Let me grab that real quick. Um, let me see if I picked the right drawer. I didn't. Still did. Good lord, where did it go? It's got to be this one. It is this one. Um, they're not even. They're not even in here because I took them home. But um, it was a just a pair of channel locks. Big channel locks, bigger than these. Um, same as the Nipex size. But that's what my go-to was for a long, long time before I uh, bought the Nipex. So that being said, I. I, my would not buys something that looks like this. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but something that looks like this, something that looks like this. It just doesn't have the bite for me. Um, it does not bite into the filter with these little notches as well as I'd want it to for a high torque because all of them are high torque at this point um, in the game. You know, we're we're pressurizing uh, higher. We're filtering. Good Lord, I'm gonna leave this right in there. My I'm out of thought, just thought process, <laughs> junked. Um, but anyway, we're running higher pressure pilot oil for pilot oil filters. Trans oil pressures are coming up. Um, you know, we're we're filtering like some in some applications 500 psi. So our filters got to be on there tight. They have to be sealed well. Um, and these pliers just don't like to get hydraulic oil filters off. And the, and also, the, when they heat up in the aluminum housings now, and cool off, heat up, cool off, it really makes that thread bind tight. Um, some actually I've seen, you know, seized for no other reason than they were just seized. Um, they weren't on there for very long either. So, um, but those are the two that I would stay away from. If you're gonna get one big filter wrench, these are the ones to buy. By the Nipex, uh, I believe they're called Cobras. I don't know. You'll somebody will correct me in the comments below. I hope, um, but it goes from up to four and a half um, on the outside here. But these these have been phenomenal. These are the go tos, along with this strap wrench style. Uh, the Caterpillar one seems to do a little bit better job biting, but the Snap On one, if you get a good full wrap on it um, around, it bites very very well um, 3 8 and half inch so that's cool um, and these this little set here um, just regular old strap ones I mean they're nothing special 
just regular old strap ones. So that's really what I got for you today. Other than the merchandise coming out, I'll show you that sticker. These stickers, that's really all I have right now, but there's more coming soon on the website. So check that out. Stay tuned for that. Um, I appreciate it as always, everybody. Uh, that was my little bit for today. But if you're just getting into it, stick to it. Um, you know, climb the totem pole. That's what, that's what I guess I want to make sure that you know is that there is a totem pole and you do have to climb it. Um, it's a long road. It's a long road, and you start out at the bottom for a long time so you can prove yourself. So prove yourself, keep that iron moving, have a great day, and uh, yeah, check out that merch. Thanks. See ya.